These items would be a great addition to any kit. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. Today, let's look at a few things that I think every kit needs, but are often overlooked. Now, while the thumbnail said there was five items, I've actually got a few bonus items at the end. Coming in at number one is pen and paper. Why pen and paper? Because, well, gadgets die from time to time. And it's always a good idea to have a notebook in your pocket. Now, you can go with something really inexpensive like these little pocket memo books. I believe these are like a three and a half by five or three by five card. You can upgrade a little bit from that by going to the field notes. I really like the field notes uh, books and I keep several of those on hand. My all time favorite though is still the right in the rain notebook. These are fantastic and you don't have to worry about them getting wet. I actually carry one of these notebooks in my cargo pocket with me all the time. Let's see if we can get that to focus. There we go. You can see how beat up that thing is. I typically get about six months or so out of each notebook, and that thing can ride around on a day-to-day -day basis and survive being drugged through all kinds of weather. Now, to go along with those notebooks, you're going to need a pen or a pencil. My favorite lately is this pen by Zebra. Come on, camera, focus. This thing is tiny. Little bitty guy, easy to pack around. But the nice thing about it is once you deploy it, you get a full-size pen that's very comfortable to write with. And these things are fairly inexpensive. I'll leave a link to those down in the description below. Number two is a coax adapter kit. This is a fantastic kit that Jim over at Chat Radio puts out, and it only costs 20 bucks. There's about 10 different adapters in there, plus a piece of coax, and I have found that I can pretty much make any situation work. Whatever uh, end I happen to have on the coax, going to whatever radio I happen to have with me in the field, this kit will pretty much solve any incompatibilities between your radio and your coax. Now, currently those are out of stock. I am going to leave a link down in the description below. I'm not affiliated with chat radio. I just think it's a fantastic item. Jim did tell me, though, that those should be back in stock fairly soon. Coming in at number three is an emergency rain poncho. Now, there's not a lot to say about these emergency ponchos other than they weigh almost nothing. I think this particular one weighs in at about 1.6 ounces, and it's just a good item to have with you if you're going portable and there's any chance you could be caught in a rain shower. Next up is an antenna analyzer. This is something that you should have in every single kit that you own. Now, you may not want something as big as this MFJ269D. You may prefer something a little smaller, like the Rig Expert Pro. And sometimes you can forego both of those if your radio has an analyzer built into it, like the ICOM 705. But whatever it is, you definitely need some sort of analyzer in your kit so that if you run into an issue, it will help you diagnose the problem and get you back on the air. Coming in at number five, radio cheat sheets. Now, I happen to like these nifty manuals and have them for the vast majority of my radios, but I know a lot of guys that don't uh, invest in these. They prefer to make up their own cheat sheets for each particular radio that they own. So they'll make out the notes that they think they need for operating that particular radio, and then they'll use some inexpensive laminator off of Amazon to laminate those notes and make them more durable. These are a great investment, though, and I have used the mess out of these in the field. So definitely you want a cheat sheet of some sort in your kit. Now, let me throw a few bonus items at you before we wrap this up. A good multi-tool is something that I think is absolutely critical to every kit. 
I carry one every single day. Most of the time, it's the Leatherman Wave. I just happen to have the Surge in my pocket today. To go along with that, I'm actually working on a little micro toolkit that expands on the capabilities of having a Leatherman in your pocket. Now, if you want something a little bit smaller than the Leatherman Wave or the Leatherman Surge, check out the SOG PowerPoint over on Amazon. It's a fantastic little multi-tool. To go along with that, something else I highly recommend are the small S-clips. These things are really good to have in every kit. They take up no room, but I use these to attach an antenna to a mass, and I find that I use them all the time. And the last thing on the list is the Night Eyes Gear Ties. These things are another one of those you just don't know until you've had one in your bag how useful these silly little things are. Whether you want to coil up some coax and tie it together, or whether you need to keep something from flopping around in the wind. I guarantee if you invest in these, you'll find at least 10 different uses for it in the first day. Guys, I appreciate you tuning in today. If you found the information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you on the next one. Until then, 7-3.